Hey there guys, my name is Tom, welcome back to my- Oh, Boba Fett fell down. Hey there guys, my name is Tom, welcome back to my movie channel, and thank you very much for joining me for this, my review of The Mandalorian Episode 3. Now, full warning, this video is going to contain spoilers for Episode 3. I can't really talk about these episodes without talking spoilers, so I apologize to anyone who hasn't got Disney Plus yet. I know there are countries that don't have it. We just got it in Australia, the US has it, so I'm going to be doing some Mandalorian review videos. So again, I apologize, but if you haven't seen Mandalorian, this video isn't for you. So Mandalorian Episode 3 picks up right after Episode 2 left off. The Mandalorian's carrying, I guess, Baby Yoda, and he returns it to Werner Herzog's character and the Stormtroopers, and then he has a change of heart about returning that Baby Yoda, so he goes and gets it right back. And I think that's what I really like most about this character of the Mandalorian. We still don't know his name yet, I don't think. It's never been said in the show. But on the surface, he just seems like your average hard-ass bounty hunter who goes and does jobs and then gets paid for it and then goes and does the next job. And even though he doesn't speak much, we get so much of this personality out of this character and we start to realize that this character might have more of a heart than at first we might have thought he does. So he goes back to Carl Weathers, he collects his reward, and then he fixes up his armor, and now he's all shiny and silver again. And his, I guess, Star Wars equivalent of a vibranium outfit. And then he goes back and rescues Baby Yoda from the Doctor. And we're really not sure what their end goal is with the Baby Yoda thing. Because some people have pointed out that the Doctor, who works for Werner Herzog's character, has like the Kamino symbol on his outfit somewhere. I haven't actually spotted it yet. But it does raise the question, what are they going to do with this Baby Yoda? Someone suggested that they want to clone it because it is strong in the Force and it's a rare species. So maybe they want to use Kamino cloning tech and clone this thing. Or maybe they want it dead. I don't think they want it dead. But I'm not sure what the end goal here is with, with the Baby Yoda. But I'm very excited to find out because it seems to be like the central plot point of this entire show. I'll be honest, I didn't like episode 3 as much as I enjoyed the first two episodes. I really, really like episodes 1 and 2. And episode 3 is a good episode. I just don't like it as much as the first two. But I really am enjoying The Mandalorian so far. I didn't like episode 3 as much as I enjoyed the first two episodes. I thought they were better overall as, as episodes of a Star Wars show. But episode 3 is a good episode, especially when all the Mandalorians show up to help him escape at the end there. That was an awesome sequence. And a sequence that we haven't really seen that type of Mandalorian action in a live action Star Wars environment. I think Jeremy Johns is the one who said it best. Like, The Mandalorian, this show plays like a video game. Each episode, each chapter feels like another level of a video game that this character is going through. And I don't think that's an accident. I think that is by design of this show. So The Mandalorian Episode 3, what did you guys think about it? Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I personally enjoyed the episode. I don't like it as much as one or two, but I'm very, very excited for next week's episode to really find out what the deal is with this baby Yoda what is the Mandalorian going to do next? What other surprises does John Favreau have in store for us? I'm very excited to find that out. Make sure you hit that comp hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you never miss out on my take on all things movies. My name is Tom and this is the way.